This week in Michigan football history. This week we salute Michigan legend and nine-time letterman Ron Kramer, who passed away on this day back in 2010. Hours after his passing, Kramer's beloved Wolverines beat Notre Dame in South Bend, thanks much in part to a long TD dash by Denard Robinson. And he's just going to run the ball to the right this time. He finds a little seam, 20, 25, there he goes, 30, 35, 40, he's to midfield, and they'll never catch him. Denard Robinson, shoelaces flopping in the wind, goes all the way to the end zone, 87 yards, touchdown Michigan! Shoelace covered exactly 87 yards on that Irish gridiron, no doubt a wink to the fallen Kramer, who famously donned the 87 jersey for the maize in blue. It was also on this day in 1976 when we kicked off the season against Wisconsin. Expectations were high, sky high, for the preseason number two Michigan with General Bo George Patton Schembechler returning to the sidelines after having open heart surgery that spring. The men in blue came out fast, forcing a safety when the game was just 18 seconds old. Just over a minute later, Harlan Huckleberry Finn Huckleby took a pitch from his own 44 from fellow sophomore Ricky the Peach Leach and took it to the house. Later in the first quarter, Huckleby struck again on a short run. Then Leach connected with receiver Jim Smith to put the victors up 23 to nothing. Given that no Schembechler team had yielded more than 21 points in the decade, this game seemed to be over. But the Badgers, aided by four second half Michigan fumbles, tallied 27 points in the second half to keep it close. Bo Howard and Bo snarled, and the troops responded. Huckleby added a third score, and Leach, who threw a mere eight times all day, connected his second TD to Smith. Calvin O'Neill led the defense with 18 tackles in the 40-27 victory. Michigan assumed the number one spot in the polls the following week. The season concluded in rosy fashion with a dominant 22 to nothing shutout of the Buckeyes in Columbus to earn a trip to Pasadena. The Wolverines finished number three in the polls, while four Wolverines earned All-American honors, including Smith, O'Neill, and senior captain Rob Lytle. Go Blue! Beat the Huskies! And for more, check out mvictors.com and wtka.com for the Key Bank Countdown to kick off. This is Greg Dooley.